Okay, in this stage we will add the eight balls, the group of eight balls that the uh, vehicle will slam into. We start with a simple sphere, texture it like an eight ball, and then use MoGraph clone to create a whole bunch of eight balls and set up some dynamics to drop them to the floor. And we'll use a uh, cylinder as container to make sure that these eight balls are not scattered all over the place. We'll start by disabling the motor as we don't want the uh, uh, vehicle to move while we do that. Do that. We can also hide the whole group, see if we do a box, and we'll create a sphere. Objects, primitive, sphere. Give it a radius of 30 and in the material manager click file load materials dyne mats 1. This will create a new layer in the material manager called 8 balls with two materials one base completely black material and one uh, material with the number 8 it's just a regular bitmap file. So select the base, drag and drop it onto the sphere, leave projection at default UVV mapping. Now you drag and drop the number 8 onto the sphere. We're going to expand the scene group temporarily and hide the floor. So you can see what we're doing here. The 8 number 8 material. Change projection to flat. Uncheck tile. Set side to front. Now select the use texture axis tool. Add scale. Scale the number. So it looks good. Something like that should be fine. Then with the sphere selected, you go to Tags, Cinema 4D Tags, it's a bit outside of the recording frame here, but I think you can see anyway, Stick Texture. Um, stick Texture might not be absolutely necessary, but, uh, but just in case. Next up, add a MoGraph cloner and make the sphere a child of the cloner. Now we need to move the cloner group to roughly where the uh, vehicle will stop. And how do we know that without running the simulation? Well, we can expand the group 3 point lighting and make the light target visible. This is placed roughly uh, where the group of 8 balls should be. So select the cloner and move it. That looks pretty good. Fix that. Now we have the cloner in place. Now we just need to change the mode or type of the cloner. So change mode from linear to grid array. Set count to 5, 6, 5 size to 500 1000 500 with the clone still selected you add a MoGraph effector random effector and on the parameter tab you uncheck position and check scale and uniform scale set it to 0 Point six. This will give a nice size vari variation to the clones. Now select the cloner and move it up on the y-axis. I think it's better to do this from the front camera so you can see a little bit above the ground is where you want to have it. That should be perfect. Now add objects, primitive, 
cylinder and switch to top view and move it so it's in the middle somewhere and let's scale the radius you want the radius to to fit you, you want the group of eight balls to fit inside the sphere switch to front view and move it up a little bit and scale it up something like that on the cylinder in the cylinders attributes manager click on caps tab and uncheck caps because we want this to be a, as container a thin tube now select the cloner and add a simulation dynamics create rigid body tag and in the on the collision tab you need to set individual elements to top level now select the cylinder add a simulation dynamics create collider and here you need to set shape to moving mesh now we already have a floor with a uh, dynamics tag on it so if we press play now the eight balls should drop down bounce around a bit you can see the purpose of the container here and stop the simulation when the eight balls are relatively still delete the cylinder select the dynamics tag of the cloner and on the dynamics tab you click set initial state and trigger to on collision now unhide C4D box and activate the motor and you can also scrub back to frame 0 and test run the animation the box moves in crashes into the eight balls and there we have the cargo spilling out looks very good